it's Amy here from Couture Wedding Cakes by Sweet Cheeks Limited. Um, just bringing you another little wee tutorial. Um, today we are going to be showing you how to use the calyx which is basically the underside of your flowers. Um, I use the calyx a lot on filler flowers. Um, I'm all about the filler flowers. So I'll just kind of let you see here. So this, we've got a simple um, four petal rose, which is a filler flower. So obviously if you have a lot of roses on your cake, cascades of flowers, things like that, it's really nice to fill the little gaps in with these roses. Um, but it's also nice to put the calyx on the bottom of the bud. It just kind of finishes it off. You don't always see it, but it's there if you need to see it. It's very, very simple to use. Um, and you, you can get bigger sizes if required. I have a standard size on my website, which is www.coutureweddingcakes.co.uk. Um, I find when you use this standard size, depending on how big you want it, you can actually stretch it out with your rolling pin and your ball tool. So although we've got the one size, I kind of feel like it's a one size fits all kind of thing. So what I've done is I've got a rose here, another filler rose that I've previously made, and I've also got a leaf, which I am going to now make the calyx and I'm going to show you how to apply it to the flower. Okay, so for the calyx, obviously, you need the calyx cutter, which is on my website. I've also got some green tape. I have got my rolling pin. I've got my double-sided ball tool, which I got from Cake Stuff. I've got some Pro Gel, and this is a eucalyptus color. You really will need to use this sparingly. You do not need a lot of it. I've got my usual tricks, and I've also got some almond edible glue. Now, for using the calyx, you will need a foam pad. This is my trusty old foam pad. It's seen better days, but I refuse to chuck it out. You'll notice that these have got some holes in them. So the holes in them is basically for rolling your flower paste over, and it gives you like a little bud shape in here. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color some flower paste, and I'm gonna show you how to use this board for your calyx. So the flower paste, as usual, is always my Squire's Kitchen flower paste. We don't use anything else. You get it in all different size packaging. I always bulk buy, and I always bulk buy from cake stuff because they are the cheapest. I'm not going to mix up too much colour because I'm just going to show you how you do this the once. Do a little bit of tricks just to soften it up. So the good thing about doing the calyx is you don't need to put them to the side to dry or anything like that. Once your flower bud, the, um, the filler flower you've made is done, you can just whack these things on as quick as you can and let them dry. Now you can see here, this is a eucalyptus. I am going to use this sparingly. I'm literally going to dot it on just like that. You don't want to make it too dark. Okay, a little bit of checks and mix this through. Some people don't bother with the calyxes, but I think they're nice. It is at the end of the day, it's personal preference, so. So, we can see that it's just mixing through. So, that's that mix through. So what you want to do is you want to take your pad and I'm just going to half this. You're just going to roll it into a ball and where your, the biggest hole is you're just going to push it on, okay? And then you're going to roll. And turn it around. Now obviously with everything else when we're doing flowers, the thinner you roll it, the better. If you find it sticking, just go back over it again. Okay, so you want to then just peel it off. 
and you're left with, well, we'll only see if it looks like. So you then take your calyx and you're basically pushing it over the centre of the hole, the little um, swollen bit. Pushing, like I said before on the other tutorials, my cutters are designed so that you don't need to put a lot of pressure on them. Just some simple rolling back and forth and they should come away no problem at all. Okay, so we're just going to use the ball tool just to push these out. So this is the shape that we're left with. So obviously it needs to be um, longer um, for fitting on this flower. So we're just going to turn this back over and put the little nubbin bit in the hole. You then want to take your ball tool and you want to stretch these petals out. Now you don't need to use a lot of pressure to stretch them out. If you imagine how a rose looks, a rosebud when it's um, not open and it's got the calyx, the calyx does kind of come halfway up. So I've stretched them out with the big ball tool. I'm then going to take my metal ball tool and I'm just going to thin the edges. So you thin the edges by having your ball tool half on your flower paste, half on your board. Like so. Okay. So once we've done that, we then want to take our glue and we're going to put a dot of glue in the middle and then halfway up your petals. Like so. I'm going to take your flower and your wire and you're going to put it right through the centre there. Turn it over and push. Okay, so it's going to go down your flower. So sometimes it does take a little bit of manipulation and get it down but that's totally fine. Now the good thing about this Squire's Kitchen flower paste is you can really stretch it. So obviously you're pushing this down here like so. Push it right down and then you can just start to stretch these. Now obviously there's still some of the bud the polystyrene bud is on show underneath but that's totally fine because once it's against the cake you're not going to see that. So you're just going to pull it up slightly, push it down and just manipulate it a little bit. So. Okay. Now the reason we've glued it only halfway up is because I don't want the petals of the calyx stick into the flower completely. You kind of want them to kind of, when you're looking at it this way, you want it so that you can see the greenness of the calyx. So you can just manipulate them, move them about, they don't have to, so you can see. So then what you want to do is you want to take some of your green tape. So you get green tapes in loads of different shades. I always go for the light green. You want to stretch it. I always get my tapes from cake stuff. Stretch it to release the glue. You then want to take your flower that you've just put your calyx on. You want to start taping just at the very top here. So you're just going to stretch and tape all the way around. If it help if you turned it around the right way, mate. So by starting it off and rolling it, that gets a good start, the glue sticks to each other. So we then want to stick this leaf on. Now, this leaf here is not a botanically correct leaf, it's basically just a leaf shape. And we're just going to attach like so. We're going to tape all the way around and then all the way down. So you could obviously add some more leaves on if you wanted. I've just added the one on today just to kind of show you how I do it. But there's no right way and there's no wrong way. Okay. So, if we can just move this. So you could, if you wanted, you could stick 
another leaf down this side but this just kind of gives you the general idea of what it should look like with a calyx and a leaf. What I would then do with this flower is I would then dip it in some of the safety seal so that it can be then put directly into the cake without the use of posy picks. That is how we use the calyx cutters. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!